What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, I'm doing my CDL pickums. I'm gonna have a perfect bracket, so I figured I might as well take a video explaining the bracket. I might as well take a video explaining my bracket and why it's gonna work out, how it's gonna work out. I got 30 minutes to lock them in. I already filled them out. Faze smokes Miami. Miami sucks. Uh, Subliners beat Thieves. Thieves steal a map off of them. Ultra smokes Seattle. Seattle steals S and D. Optic and Ravens have a very close series where Optic edges it out. Once it gets to the map five, Optic is gonna smoke show them like six one six two. But until it gets to that map five, Carolina is gonna be looking pretty decent. Then we got Miami and Vegas. Like a Vegas beating them three one. Vegas is just the better team, especially after making the change for Johnny for Asim. Vegas is just the better team. Uh, Thieves versus Boston. I'm not even going to explain that one. Um, Seattle Surge and Rocker. Uh, a lot of people think Seattle's going to smoke Rocker. I think it's going to be a very close series. Standy takeover. I'm a Standy fan. Standy fucking takeover in the respawns. And in, uh, now Seattle's taking both S and D's. In the respawns, though, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking first hard point. And the control, Standy's literally having a takeover. He's going to win their, his team the map. And then uh, Carolina, LAG. Just Carolina is just a better structure team than LAG is. LAG is really good on land compared, like, in terms of the bottom eight teams. Like, LAG is amazing on land. But uh, Carolina is a better structure team. Better structure teams win on land. Uh, phase versus subliners, 3 1. Uh, subliners take the control. Most likely, I think. I think Subliners is decent at control. Uh, to, yeah, Ultra and Optic, I think, have a good series. A good, it's a 3-1, but each map will be pretty close. And the only map that won't be close is second map S&D, which Optic is going to smoke Ultra, and then Ultra is just winning every respawn. Um, and then moving down, where am I? Where am I? I'm on this one, right? Uh, Legion versus Thieves. Uh, Thieves is just a better together team vegas just made a change and thieves have been hitting kind of form in their teamwork recently and then surge versus ravens i think it's very close honestly now that i'm looking at it it does not make sense ravens would win in a map five ah do they got tj actually no it'll be a close map five now i'm thinking of it it'll be a very close like tj haley takeover 04 takeover and it's 04 versus teach you know, you know what i mean and we don't know how 04 is going to look if 04 doesn't play the way he's been playing like if he has those land jitters it's his first land the cdl if he has those fucking jitters man then i think carolina definitely take it because carolina ain't gonna have jitters they're all veterans except for gwen and gwen's a superstar but if 04 is not dropping his 1.2s and his 1.6s and search and everything, then I think Carolina definitely takes it. But yeah, Carolina takes a 3-2 in a very close... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be round 11. Map 5... I'd say round 10. I, I think 6-4 Ravens. And then uh, we'll just stay right down here. Elam round 3 is New York versus Carolina. I think Carolina has a chance to win. If a fellow or Clay is dropping a bomb, then I think they have a decent chance to win. And especially if Gwyn goes nuclear again. Not, literally not a shot Gwyn goes nuclear again, but Gwyn goes nuclear if TJ plays good and fellow or Clay play really good and the subliners look how they look, then it's Carolina 3-2. But... I do not think Clay is going to play good, and I do not think Fellow is going to play good. I think they're only. I think TJ will have like a 0. 0.9. He'll be trying. And then Gwen's going to have like a 1.1. 1. 1, Ashley, like, slaying the shit out of New York. Optic versus Thieves, I think, is very close. I think Thieves can win if they're hitting for him. But Thieves are so inconsistent, and Optic is really good at SD. I think Thieves can steal some respawns. When I say steal, I mean like 30 points. Like 250 to 220 type steal. Or like a 3-2, very close control, random offense win type steal. But I think Optic's going to pull it through in one of the respawns and win both S&Ds very cleanly. 
And then we're going to go back to the winner's bracket. And it's FaZe versus Ultra. FaZe is FaZe. Um, yeah. They're going to smoke him bad. And then... I mean, Ultra could win. Ultra's not winning SD against FaZe. Uh, Ultra could win a uh, respawn, but FaZe is FaZe, man. You know what I mean? FaZe is FaZe. And then Optic versus Subliners. I think it will be a very close series. I think, like... I feel like these two teams play really well against each other. They, like, have each other's number, kind of. Like, they really... They show up when they're versing each other. They really show up. So I think that... uh, I think, like, map one will go to Optic cleanly. Map two will go to Optic cleanly. And then the control goes to New York. And then the map four goes to New York. And then Optic clutches it up in the last SD. And they smoke him in the last SD. And then we go to... Uh, Toronto versus Optic, and I think it's gonna be a three-one. Optic takes the SND. I think it's gonna be just like the online series, literally just like it. Ultra cleanly win all the respawns. Optic cleanly wins uh the SND, the second map SND. If it makes it a map five, Optic wins. I don't think it's making it a map five though. And then, or Optic should win if it makes it to me. If Optic lose a map five against Ultra, that's not good. <laughs> that's like that's not good for their season, man. Um, and then the grand finals, yeah, uh, phase versus ultra and it's phase is phase. You know what I mean? I think ultra will steal a respawn, you know, maybe ultra will steal the first respawn or something. I think ultra might steal like the first respawn or something, or maybe the control. Honestly, they might steal the control, but outside of that, it's phase, man. It's phase. It's, it's, it's a new dynasty. It seems like, you know? But yeah, these are my picks. I'm locking them in. This is for sure going to hit. This is 10,000. Hold on, let me... I mean, I don't want to make changes. I think the map count all looks good. The map count looks fine. The only map count is tricky is this one. But I think TJ will have that SND takeover. I like this bracket. I like this bracket. I like it. All right. These picks are hitting all day. These picks are literally hitting all day. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just share... Uh, my picks, I was going through them, and I, in my head, I was like, I might as well take a video. I think these might hit. Like, I think I'm a genius in this shit. You know what I mean? But uh, I haven't done predictions this year yet. Like, I haven't, I literally haven't done anything for any of the majors or anything. I, I guess I did week one <laughs> for literally the first week last year, six months ago. <laughs> but outside of that, I have not done predictions yet. I think these will hit, though. I think it'll look good. And, yeah. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, if you want some good picks, these are the good picks. It's going to be closed by the time. Oh, it's going to be closed by the time you're seeing it, though. But, yeah, Mark, these picks are going to hit. These picks are going to hit. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy the CDL event. I, I keep doing that, my bad. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the CDL event. And, yeah, I'm going to be enjoying it. It's going to be a fun weekend, man. I've been waiting for a major in COD. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, have a great weekend.